Hey guys, Ryan Dossie here, and in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how we landed an $82,000 profit deal. Let's dive right in. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through what list we pulled and show you how to pull it, what piece of mail we sent, how to order them, what carrot website we used, all the way down to actually working the lead inside of our CRM, even internal notes from our staff. Now, I do want to preface this with something. This is real estate investing. It's hard, it takes work, it takes money, credit, capital, right? This is not get rich quick, it's not easy. You can make a very good living doing it though. And my goal with the content that I put out like this is that I'm being the resource for you that I was looking for when I just started out. You should be able to watch these videos, copy and paste what I'm sharing with you and make money. That is the whole goal that this is profitable for you, that you're not just consuming the content, but actually applying it. I'm a big, big believer the fact that if you apply somebody's free content and don't get results out of it, what's behind their paywall, what they charge you for is going to suck. That goes for me included. So try a copy and paste this free stuff that I just share with you. If it works, you know where to find me. So we're going to hop into my computer screen. And the first thing we're going to do is pull our mailing list. So this particular list came from PropStream. Uh, we have an affiliate link for them and a couple of the other tools in this that I'll drop in the links below, like pin it, like the top comment. If you're getting value out of the channel and want to support it, just hit the like button, use our links on the tools we recommend. If you're not like they're still good tools, I only recommend stuff that I'm personally using to turn a profit with. Um, if you're not enjoying the content, just don't tell them that we sent you. So hopping into prop stream here, we can actually see in Simply's list stacker that this came from an absentee with three or fewer properties, one to four units, 35 to 100% equity. This particular deal was in York, Pennsylvania. So I'm going to walk you through how to repull that exact list. So if I were to hop in here, we got this top search bar. I'm going to type in York PA. Um, if you're not familiar with PropStream, like a hundred bucks a month lets you rip out up to 10,000 records. And I think their like affiliate offers, you get to try it for a week for free. So feel free to hop in and poke around. Um, we can see here there's 68,000 like total parcels. We want to narrow that down. So we're going to use this filter button. First thing we're going to do is hop over here into property characteristics and we're going to do one and two to four units. So basically one to four unit residential properties. We're going to do no on owner occupants. So absentee just means they own the property, but they don't live there. With all of these lists, we always add an equity filter. I personally do 35 to 100%. Um, I find most of my people are right at 35 or right at 100. Like they can either just barely afford to sell to me or they're just walking with cash. So we've got 35 to 100% there. Um, the next thing we're going to head into is this ownership info here. And uh, let's see here the number of properties owned, we're going to do a max of three. Um, what we're looking for there is this isn't somebody that has a giant portfolio that's probably not going to sell something at a discount. It's maybe a mom and pop landlord, or maybe they couldn't sell a place when they moved out. So they turned it into a rental. Maybe they inherited the house, something like that. Um, lastly, under ownership info, all type, we're going to do individuals and trusts. So that's going to cut out anything that's owned by a company. Um, we want to market to those in a different manner that I'm, I'm not going to cover in this video. So really straightforward. We have our, you know, 2,076 properties. We can go over our criteria again. It's an absentee. They don't live there. It's a one to four unit owned by an individual or trust, 35 to 100% equity and three or fewer properties. So check. It's exactly what we did there. Um, now on this particular property, we sent them a piece of ballpoint mail. Um, it's tagged different. So how he simply does their list tagging. It's by what you name the, um, what you name the list as you upload it and then any tags you apply to it. So we just 
set up one tracking number called first mail drop and have continued to use that one. This particular seller got one of our postcards, but it was actually a custom one that we designed for this particular brand, which I'll show you the carrot site here in a second. It was basically our take on this like sell your house fast hot rod card, right? Um, so these are written with pens on the back. You know, you've got effectively your copy where it's going, caller text, um, return mail address, and then where it's going. These ship out straight from St. Louis. When it comes to the handwriting style, I personally only do cursive. Um, Non-cursive is more expensive because it takes longer for the robots to write. And I haven't noticed an increase like in response or anything to justify that increase in cost. So that's what I would do. Um, in this instance, I'm saving this list. So just check the box, click add to list, name it what you want. It then shows up under my properties under lists. So pretty straightforward. Once we've got the list pulled, we'd go and then order, you know, that amount of mail. So 2,076 pieces. So we'd hop in here, do 2,076, add to cart, check out, upload the list, all of that good stuff. Now, one thing to note, uh, we do market branded. It's something we teach inside my mastermind group, CCF, as well as I think we've referenced in any deal case study like this video that we've ever done. We do recommend carrot sites. They're really simple to use. I've personally been on carrot since back in like 2014 had thousands of leads come through my carrot site. Um, their standard plan, like their cheap one, which is all most people need, I think is like 80 bucks a month. Um, it's very like couple clicks and you're up and running and live. If you're really building something you're confident in and you want it to just look top notch, they have like a concierge option where they do everything for you. That's a couple grand. I'll talk about what that is and why we do that in um, another video. So on this particular one, um, this is our investor carrot site uh, for this particular brand. Um, so they got something, it actually had like this image of this car on it. With branding, I like it to be something you're passionate about or something local, cutesy, hot rod houses, Miami Vicey, big fan of this brand. I think this turned out really well. So that gets printed on every single site. And then uh, my answering service call Porter takes every inbound call that we have that's not on something like commercial that I'm personally reaching out to. Um, price point on them. They've got some like cheaper tier plans, um, that run, you know, as low as like 60 bucks a month. The average investor ends up being between like three to 600 in my experience. Um, and that's, you've got Americans in the U S standing by ready to take your calls, screening for motivation, equity condition, booking those appointments for you on that initial call, whether you're at work out with family, whatever. And then we work the leads in Resimply. So Resimply is the CRM. It's where we track everything, send our calls and texts through, gives us recordings. You know, it's kind of our, if it didn't happen here, it didn't happen. Now you can see this particular lead came in back on February 22nd. We've got the whole actual recording here of the initial call. Uh, Brandy over at Call Porter took this one. We've got the notes. The guy owes 110, doesn't need repairs that he's aware of. Hilarious, definitely needed repairs. Um, no updates to the kitchen or bathroom within 10 years, not sure what he wants and went to book an appointment on it for us. Now I'll throw up some pictures of this one. Interesting situation. Family member was living there. Homeowner ran into, I think it was like a bankruptcy financial distress situation, just like needed the place paid off. Um, originally we were thinking, you can see Gus's notes here that we'd be at 155. We actually ended up buying the place for 120,000. Initially, we made an offer of $130,000, but doing a $10,000 escrow holdback. Like, hey, we're going to make sure that the tenant leaves or an eviction goes smoothly because we're buying the place occupied by a family member where it's not a good relationship. Um, he ended up being like, tell you what, just give me $120,000. And we were like, sold. All right, no brainer on this one. Um, we reached out to the tenant, kind of offered cash for keys situation. He got us pictures of everything. I'll throw up those pictures. Um, I threw this up on Instagram a while back, but we were anticipating like a $60,000 remodel. ARV on this is coming in somewhere between like 270 to 300, depending on where we take it. All in for 180, exiting at 270 plus. From our like quick and dirty back of the napkin math, we're looking at like a gross net there of right at like 82,000 bucks. Not bad at all. Can't complain about that. Now, in theory, right, that's pretty simple. In, I don't know, eight minutes, I've showed you 
what list we pulled, how to pull it, what mail piece we used, how to order it, the uh, website we used, where to go set one of those up, and even who took the calls, how to handle that. I would be remiss though, if I didn't point something out. And that really is the lesson of this particular deal. Yeah. This place has only been in system for 21 days. Uh, they reached out to us on February 22nd, made them an offer on the 22nd under contract on the 27th. Like, wow, things are just moving along. We've actually already bought this place. Um, we bought this place March, I think fourth or fifth, right? So it's a very quick went out to look at it, made the offer, negotiated, got it under contract. That sounds really easy, right? Here's the kicker. We haven't mailed this person since 2022. Uh, it's been a year and a half, two years since this mail campaign went out. Um, so much so, we even pivoted to a different market with this company. A uh, buddy of mine that was I was running this with moved to South Florida. We've been marketing in a different market. Uh, our phone numbers on the website had changed, copy had changed, all of that, right? The important thing though, is we were still in the game. There's a lot of real estate investors. Maybe you're watching this and you've done this. Maybe you've even copied my free stuff and I'm, I'm talking to you. You do the marketing campaign. You're not a millionaire in 30 days. So you say, well, that didn't work. Throw in the towel, close up shop, shut everything down to stop the bleeding. Totally get that, right? Sucks when we don't get results right out the gate. You know, unfortunately, I don't have a crystal ball. If I could tell you who was going to call you before you mailed them, I would be infinitely well off. Uh, but I, but I don't have that skill. The skill I do have is consistently getting deals like this for me and the folks that I work with. Now, that being said, a lot of people would have shut all this down, right? We're, look at the just base monthly costs on this stuff. Prop streams, a hundred bucks a month. Carrots, let's call it 80 bucks a month. I'm at 180. Resimply, I think is like 200 bucks a month now. I'm at 380. Call Porter's three to 500 a month. I'm at 580, 800 bucks, 900 bucks a month, right? This, this starts to stack up. Totally get that. Um, but if we'd closed Resimply down, if we'd shut off our tracking numbers, we would have not gotten this deal that we're going to literally net somewhere in the ballpark of $82,000 off of. We're literally going to net $82,500, give or take on this place. That's assuming we only get 270 for it. Our realtor thinks we might get closer to 300. This is a home run deal by most examples of the imagination, but we wouldn't have got it if we just shut our stuff off. So moral of the story here, first and foremost, if you've made it this far, drop a comment on the video, hit me with a like that helps us get out in front of more people. But second, like don't get into this business. If you're not planning on being in it for at least the foreseeable future, like if you're ever in the position that money is tight, you've got to kill expenses. I, I own call porters. This is not self-serving, like shut them off and take your own calls. But for goodness sakes, leave your website up, leave your CRM up and running. You never know what will come out of that marketing. And if you're not prepared to do that, do not copy what I'm showing here. Don't go spend money with my companies or any of these companies I'm talking about because you might give up literally three feet from gold. I see it happen all the time. Hopefully you guys enjoy kind of these no BS, literally behind the scenes, what we're doing, how we're doing it type videos. Again, my goal is to be the resource for you guys that I was desperately looking for when I first started out. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, my name is Ryan Dossie. I'll talk to you guys next time.